guys, it's Jamie and I'm here with a little Ulta haul. And yes, I have two bags because I went twice. Um, it's probably two weeks ago they ran a five times the points and for platinum members, and I'm obviously a platinum member, you know, you spend a lot of money, you get to be the platinum member. Um, and just, just to mention, uh, most of you are Ultra Rewards cards holder. It's a free thing you sign up for. You run your, you know, they give you give you a little card every time you check out. And for my Ulta, where I'm located, the points come back in dollars off. So it's like, who wouldn't do it? But it's funny, the other day when I was in there, there was a lady behind me and she was checking out with like $100 worth of stuff. And they asked her if she had one and she said no. And so they said, do you just want to sign up? And they explained a little bit and she was like, no. And I was like... Why wouldn't you? Like, even if you shop at Ulta a couple times a year, it's still worth it to get like five, ten dollars off. Anyway, that's just a little rant because I never understand why people there, unless you're seriously like, I hate this store and I'm only coming in for one gift for this person and I hate it. Okay, <clears throat> let's get on to the haul so I can stop rambling. Good grief, Jamie. Okay, um, the first time I went, I only got, yeah, three little things and then it has a free gift. Um, so, since I've been pregnant, and I meant, I meant to mention some of these things in my last 17-week video, um, my update, if you guys haven't watched that, um, if you'd like to, it's out there, uh, but I forgot to mention that since I've been pregnant, I've had drier skin. I have dry skin regardless, um, normal to dry depending on the year, but like the winter time, it's like crazy dry, and um, I know sometimes with pregnancy it goes the opposite way for women. Their skin gets really oily. They break out a ton. Things go awry. For my skin, I've been drier, uh, especially through like here, like here. I've just been fighting dry skin, and it, I feel like it's getting better now. Of course, I bought some stuff, so it's like anyway. Um, but I went and got this little sample, like travel size of the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. And I've used this before. If you guys have been with me from the beginning, you know I've used this from the start. I love this stuff. I don't have it all the time, which shame on me, I should. Um, but I just got the little travel size. And it is just a nice gel that I put on. I usually use this at night because it doesn't have SPF. And I feel like my skin after, you know, after your shower and you've washed and all that stuff, um, I put this on pretty much immediately and let it absorb and stuff. And then I come back and put other stuff on top of it. But in the daytime, I would probably, in the daytime, in the morning, I would wake up, and like after you do what you do, like wash your face or rinse it off or use a wipe, whatever you do. Um, I usually just would put it, if I had it, now I do, in the spots that I needed a little extra. Maybe not put it all over. But it's very gentle and I love this stuff. And I probably should have gotten the full size, but I said, you know, this is where this other product comes in as to why I didn't. Um, <clears throat> there was a sales associate there and we got to talking and I was playing with this anyway. It is the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. And um, I'm a sucker for a mask. I do like them. And it says it's very hydrating. And it's in the same line with the Moisture Surge. So, so I know I love this. So I'm like, I should love this too. So I was thinking, um, since I got this, then the little thing of that just makes sense, you know? So, um... We'll use this at night before I go to bed. And um, it says that your skin should awaken plump, supple, and luminous. Use nightly or as needed. I love it. Uh, it's a big bottle, too. It says it's one of their products for all skin types, too. This is going to last me a while. So I'm happy to try that. I do like some Clinique products, especially the Moisture Surge line. Excuse me. Um, and then for buying Clinique, they gave a little free gift, which is a little... Um, tonic lotion, a clarifying tonic lotion, which, um, you know, I would just use as a toner, I guess, if I'm traveling, or I could use it, you know, anytime. And then I did get one thing that is fun during that trip, and it's a Too Faced Melted Liquefied Metallic Lipstick, Melted Metals, and it is called Melted Metallic Debutante. Now, um, these things never really interest me when they came out at first, because they're more matte, the original ones were matte, and I just didn't really have any desire for that. You'll notice that it's like this because I've already swatched it. I did film this video once and thought it sucked, so I'm back for round two. Um, anyway, it looks like this. You can definitely see the metallic, the metal looking. Um, it's fun. It's just really fun. I can see some gold in there. It's really fun for this time of year. And um, I know that NARS 
makes a, well, the NARS Orgasm blush. I know that they make an orgasm lip gloss, but in my mind, this screams NARS Orgasm in lip form. So, um, that's what I thought when I saw it, and I was like, mmm, that looks pretty. Something fun to play with. And then my next purchase, um, I went in and I picked up some more of these Philosophy Purity Made Simple One-Step Facial Cleansing Cloths. Now, you guys know I love these. I don't have them all the time because sometimes I get the Up and Up brand or Neutrogena or the Yes to Grapefruit, yeah, Yes to Grapefruits, whatever. Um, and currently, since uh, my friend Deb was so generous to send me a packet of the Bioderma ones, which I have used, and by the way, I do love them already. Like, love them. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. I love them. Um... But I got these because they were five times the points, and I was like, you know what, I always need some of these around. These are my, some of my favorites, and they're a little pricey, so I was like, if I'm going to buy them, I may as well get the points. Um, <clears throat> gosh, it's like Wipe Central up in this house, isn't it? Uh, these are the Murad Clarifying Wipes for Blemish Prone Skin, and um, I have tried some Murad products before and liked it, like their Vitamin C line. Uh, and normally I would not get anything that says blemish, for blemish prone skin because normally I don't have blemish prone skin. Uh, however, one thing that I forgot to mention in that video which is really important to mention and I'll probably come back around and touch on this in another pregnancy update. I have had some hormone... Her, <laughs> hormone... <laughs> I've had hormonal breakouts literally right here. I had one on my chin which is there's a little spot that I'm still trying to clear up. Um, but pretty much like here, here. So I've been very lucky that they've stayed here on like, you know, the down part of my face and they haven't migrated all over, which knock on something, knock on wood, um, that hasn't. And it could, I don't know, it's nothing I can control. Uh, but I thought maybe these, especially in the morning, because I don't have a real regimented routine in the mornings. I mean, let me be honest, I tend to splash cold water on my face and pat it down and then start my process. Uh, that Some people would say, do not do that. But um, it's always worked for me. I've done that my whole life. Um, but I thought maybe these in the morning or, you know, if I'm around and not wearing makeup and just feel like this area needs something that I could try these. And I did see these on Makeup by Tiffany D. She hauled these no, she's been using these, I guess. Um, and I thought I would try it. Um, and then another thing, which I think, um, when I asked in a video, I think it was my empties video, um, a lovely viewer, I think the, her screen name was Curious Sparkle, so if you're watching, thank you, uh, mentioned that she really liked the Mario de... Gosh, what's wrong with me? Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. So I thought I'd give that a whirl. Um, I haven't opened it, so it's still sealed and everything, but I'm anxious to try that, and, um, yeah, something fun to try by a brand that I've used a couple things from before, but, you know, not that familiar with, uh, <clears throat> and then for the last thing, the thing that I am probably the most excited about <laughs> is something frivolous that I bought, and it is the Benefit They're Real, uh, Beyond Blue Mascara. Love this stuff in the regular black mascara. It is one of my top 10 mascaras of all time. Um, normally for blue mascara, because I really do love blue mascara. I haven't had it for a while. But normally I would just go to the drugstore and pick up, you know, a CoverGirl with blue or something like that. Um, but when I saw this come out, I was like, you know, I'm just going to go for it. And I love that they they came out with a colored one this time of year. Um, they also came out with brown, which I think would be really pretty for certain people. Not for me, probably. I'm either, probably not brown mascara girl. But I love it for summer because this time of year I'm wearing a lot of golds. I'm wearing a lot of bronzes. And the blue looks really good with that. And uh, for some people who might be a little nervous about blue mascara, no matter what brand it is, um, sometimes I like to put it on my top lashes and have fun with it. Other times, I'll use my black mascara on my top lashes and then just come down and do blue mascara on my lower lash line. And um, it's really pretty because it's subtle, but it's a little pop, you know, but it's not like in your face. But I don't really think this the blue mascara, if you use it on either, is in your face. You know what I mean? Um, but I just think it's something fun, especially if you love makeup. 
And I'm, it hasn't been opened yet, so I would show it to you, but I'm not going to open it yet until I'm, you know, ready to play with it, which is going to be soon. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's my small Ulta haul. Nothing too, you know, nothing too out of hand. But anyway, I'd love to know if you guys have used any of this stuff, what you think. Um, yeah, just love to know your opinions. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll let you guys go for now, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!